But before that, adoption agencies across the southwest have joined forces to appeal for potential new families to come forward. Latest figures suggest there are twice as many children waiting for an adoption in England than there are parents looking to adopt. Agencies say there are also significant challenges around race. Nithya Rajan has more. Wanting to beat the competition was second nature to ex-athlete Jamie Balsh. The Olympic medalist has a slew of titles to his name, but he says the hard work of crossing the finish line first started here. That's in that tranche, isn't it? With his adoptive parents. If I hadn't have been adopted and been raised by mum and dad, you know, looking after me, uh, would I have done it? I doubt I would have. I, may, I might not have had the opportunity. And what mum and dad gave me is that opportunity to go out and attain um, these things, you know, take me training every week, you know, twice a week when I first started, buying me my tracksuit, my running spikes, take me to competitions. I mean, you know, somebody had to do it. And unfortunately for my mum and dad, they did. <laughs> There's currently a nationwide shortage of adoptive families, with more than twice as many children waiting for homes than there are adopters. Here at Adopt Southwest, they're working to dispel some of the myths around who can adopt. People seem to think that if you're single, if you're not married, that you can't adopt, you can. Um, people think that if you're LGBTQ+, that you can't adopt, you can. Race also plays a big part in adoption. Last year, around 3,800 children were adopted in England. Around 170 of those were from black, Asian and minority ethnic backgrounds. Adoption agencies say interracial adoption could be a solution. If they are from a different racial heritage, it can still be extremely successful. The family will then need to be more creative in terms of giving that child their sense of belonging and reinforcing their sense of identity, which is why race is part of the picture, but it doesn't need to be the only one. Isabel lives with her adopted children, Nathaniel, who was born in Uganda, and MG, born in the UK. Isabel was born in Sri Lanka and adopted by English parents when she was a baby. Now she's keen for her children to grow up with a strong sense of their own heritage. For me, um, because I was so young, I don't particularly feel Sri Lankan in any way, so obviously I was only four months. Um, but for Nathaniel, because he was older and he lived in Uganda for a lot longer, and very early on, he did have some memories of Uganda. It was very important for me to keep those memories going. These memories have given 13-year-old Nathaniel big dreams for the future. Well, I want to create my charities to help other people, uh, give them, because I think everybody should be given <coughs> equal uh, opportunities uh, and the best opportunity in life that they should, they, that they deserve. Five. And while they dream big, they continue to cherish their precious moments together as a family. Nithya Rajan, ITV News.